Hello, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. Today, I'm going to be walking you through step by step on how to create this beautiful painting called Make a Wish, another kind of pastel rainbow painting that's very popular from my workshops. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. I post new step by step tutorials shot in real time every weekend. Okay, let's jump right into it. So if you're wondering how to get set up to start painting, I do have a special video on how to get set up to paint. I'm going to be using three brushes today. I'm going to use one of these larger brushes for the background, a medium sized brush like so, and then my trusty baby brush. Go ahead and put those in your water cups now. Uh, these are all the colors that I'll be using for the painting today. Essentially, it's a full rainbow, but you can really use whatever colors that you'd like so long as they're light enough so that we have enough contrast of our dandelion with the second part of the class. Okay, let's jump right into it. So we're gonna be using our large brush, want a little bit of water. We're gonna start with a light yellow. So I'm gonna take some yellow, mix it with white. And I'm gonna start in the upper corner here. Going back and forth, lots of texture. I call these crazy brush strokes. <laughs> so they're gonna be going all different directions. I'm gonna take some even lighter yellow and add that in there, just so that it's just not one solid color, just kind of more boring that way. So make it more exciting, jazz it up there with some lighter yellow. Great, now I'm gonna rinse my brush. That was the first step. Not too hard, keeping it really simple. On this channel, everything is going to be designed for newbies, for babies. Okay, I'm going to take some light blue. And I'm going to start in this corner now, doing the same kind of crazy brush strokes. Working our way across to that yellow. And then once I get fairly close, I'm actually going to mix the two colors together. A little bit of blue in there. And blend them together like so. Getting the hang of this brush stroke, building up that dexterity. It's good practice. Okay, rinsing the brush again. Moving along to my next color, which is gonna be pink, which is also just red and white. Adding white to all of my colors here. little bit too light. There we go. Don't be afraid to really just whip that brush around. Okay, and in between here I'm gonna grab a little bit of orange which is of course in between red and yellow or pink and yellow to help this blend. Very similar to that first step. Okay, beautiful, looking nice. All right, rinsing the brush again. Keeping it simple. Anybody can paint this, I promise. Well, actually, I spoke to someone who was colorblind earlier. And I was like, oh, well, <laughs> this might just look like a whole bunch of gray. It's pretty interesting. Ah, it's amazing how the human eye works. Very fascinating. I'm going to take some teal. Again, just adding white and adding it into this bottom corner. And I'm actually going to do something fun today and add this bright green which is not in the original, but I just thought this color was really pretty, so I wanted to try it today. 
I know I paint fast. I've had lots of experience. Go ahead and slow yourself down and take your time. Create an abstract masterpiece on its own, really, before the dandelions even applied. It's already pretty. Okay, and then our last little area, area here, I'm gonna choose to add some light purple. my sides white for now so I can come back later and paint the sides or I could pop it in a frame if I'd like or you can paint on the sides as well either way okay so that's gonna be it for the background now I'm gonna grab my medium size brush this guy and some black. Now you can certainly wait for this layer to dry if you'd like, but I'm just gonna go ahead and power on through. I'm gonna start with a circle. Fill that guy in. Start small and then you can work your way out. You can trace something circular if you'd wish as well, if you'd like. And now from the sort of bottom right hand here to the bottom right hand of the canvas, I'm going to create a curved line. I'm going to come back and thicken it up a little bit. Perfect. Okay, swapping out for my baby brush. And now I'm going to do brush strokes that come from the center here out in every direction. And you would definitely want to go from the center out so that it trails off and sort of tapers at the end. I like to do those four first and then go in between. Makes it a lot easier to have them all go fairly straight out rather than get all wonky. A little trick there. I'm teaching this painting a couple hundred times. And you actually want to do a lot of these brush strokes. I know it's labor intensive, but we're not in a hurry here. We're relaxing. Painting actually lowers your blood pressure. For the amount of painting that I do, my heart should be very healthy. <laughs> it's addictive, be careful. Good. Okay. All right. Just a few more. Nice. Now I'm going to take sort of similar brush strokes to my crazy brush strokes in the background here. And I'm going to not connecting them to these guys. Rather, they're just kind of floating off sort of on their own here. At least that's what it looks like. Resist the urge to overthink this. Just throw those brush strokes on there. Be brave. Okay, good. All the way around. You can use these to kind of go outwards and make it as circular as you can. Really trying to not create a consistent pattern, rather trying to move my brush in all different directions. And you want to try to not have any more of these straight lines poking out.
Okay, and then also just a few that kind of come inwards that sort of trail off in their frequency. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm going to create a little baby version now. That's further off in the background. This is certainly an optional step. I do find that the smaller ones are a little bit trickier. But it's going to be the same steps. from all different directions. Mm -hmm. I need a little bit less on this back one. Not quite so many brush strokes coming out from the center. Not quite so many on the outside edges. Okay. I'm going to go back over the centers here. Make them look a little bit more circular. And the stems as well. few blades of grass if you'd like. It's like you're a little bug laying on the ground, like looking up towards the sun. That's my imagination. <laughs> okay. All right, that's looking cute. And then the piece de la resistance of this painting is to give it a nice sense of movement. Uh, and why the painting is called Make-A-Wish, because these guys are flying away into the distance. So two curved brush strokes like so. And you're just going to create a U on the end here. You want to have one curve going this way, the other going the other way. And then just little hash marks in between there like so. And that is all. When you're finished, make sure and sign your painting if you wish. My rule of thumb is once I've signed it, I can't paint on it anymore. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, another really simple one. Uh, please tune in next week and be sure to hit subscribe uh, so that you can see more great step-by-step -step acrylic tutorials. Let me know what you thought of this one in the comments. Be sure to check out the print shop and follow me on social media. I am at Paint Along With Sky. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.